Hello, and welcome to my channel. I am Reverend 20 Piece. I, I have another topic I wanted to um, kind of follow up on in a video a while back about how I occasionally see, uh, you know, glimmers of hope from the, the blue-pilled world that, you know, where, where people call out bullshit. And, and I really, I, I really do appreciate that when I see it. And I try to point it out, you know, I'm, obviously I can't catch everything, but um, I want to make you aware of an example that I found. Um, <clears throat> I listen to, just for some background and context, I listen to a lot of sports talk radio, and a lot of people find that boring, and it's uh, it, it's actually kind of funny that I do listen to a lot of sports talk radio, because um, I actually don't <laughs> really watch much sports. Uh, I mean, I used to. I used to be, like, addicted to sports, man. I was fucking... I, I'd watch every night at least some type of game baseball football uh hockey basketball whatever you know um college nba i liked all of it um but um anyway so i i listen to sports talk radio more for the like the social context and and um the psychological aspect behind it you know because uh, in the organization that i'm in um, there is a team aspect to it, and uh, it isn't the exact same thing as sports, but but you have to kind of manage people and personalities and things like things like that. So um, there is kind of a, um, you know, uh, I can't think of the right word, but there there is similarities, I guess, in, between the two. But um, anyway, <laughs> I, I get off track really easy, as you can tell. Um, but anyway, so I was listening to sports talk radio, and I usually listen to it on my way to work and sometimes while I'm at work. But uh, one of the shows I listen to is, it's a national, uh, I listen to local shows, but one of the national shows that I listen to is Clay Travis's, Clay Travis, Outkick the Coverage. And uh, I, I think he does a really good job of calling out people and their bullshit when, uh, when he sees it. And especially uh, people will call him, call in and, you know, fuck with him and, and, and he'll just, he'll just fucking, um, power slam them, you know, and, and if, if they're in the wrong, but anyway, and, and he is, you know, he's, he's still a blue pillar, you know, in a way, but he has, uh, some of those red pill qualities, you know, I know he's married and all this shit, but, um, you know, if he, if he's making it work, good for him, you know, but anyway, so on a, one of his recent shows, uh, it was on February 8th and it was, uh, the show was titled how's the audio I'll, i will leave a link below um and uh it starts about the 108 mark uh, hour eight hour eight minute mark and goes for about seven minutes and it's on uh the topic that, that somehow they got onto was uh valentine's day and sexual harassment <laughs> but it is fucking hilarious man and he calls out uh feminist bullshit on valentine's day and you'll you have to listen to it for yourself but i thought it was pretty entertaining and and like i said it's i like it when when i hear this stuff on like national media and um national mainstream media and shit like that just because it just calls out you know uh, i know i'm repeating myself but people need to be called out in their bullshit you know <clears throat> especially if you know that's that's how I think that's part of the fucking how we got to this point in the first place is, is nobody checked these motherfuckers. But um, so, yeah, anyway, I will I will leave the link below. Clay Travis outkick the coverage February 8th. How's the audio? Uh, it's definitely worth listening to. So um, anyway, so switching gears, I, I did want to bring up one other topic. I uh, you may not see me a whole lot on YouTube over the next few months. I'm probably through the end of June. Uh, I got a lot going on. Uh, I know, I mean, I'm not the fucking trying to be too self-important. I know we all have a lot going on. I just, um, I don't know how much time I'm going to have to make videos. And, um, I mean, and, and I'll try to reply to anyone's comments when they, uh, uh, as I get time. Um, but, yeah, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling. Just uh, most of it's Midwest, but... Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to be different conferences and training and all kinds of shit So is, is going on. So without getting into too much detail, there's a reason for that. Um, if you watch, uh, if you're familiar with geopolitics, uh, that's why I am doing a lot of extra shit. And, uh, and we'll see how that all shakes out. So 
Um, but yeah, so if you don't see me commenting or, or making videos or in the in the live streams, uh, uh, I'm not going away. I, I just uh, you know, or I haven't gone away or went back to the plantation. I just um, uh, just just busy. Um, but yeah, and and I do like the live streams. Those things are are fucking addictive. I don't. I, don't <laughs> I get on there and, and get the comment and interacting with everyone, and it's a good time. So most of the time it is. But uh, anyway, well, I hope y'all have a, a wonderful weekend, and um, uh, hopefully the weather's warm where you're at. Where I'm at, it's fucking freezing. There's supposed to be freezing rain coming in, so that's fucking great since I got to drive tomorrow. But uh, yeah, good times. But anyway, <laughs> I'll catch up with y'all later. Have a good one. Bye.